Well, hello again. I said in the last video, when we closed it out, that we, we would pick this video up by connecting a 500K resistor to pin 3 on the 47 tube. And we would run it all the way down and all the way across. And we would connect it into the orange wire that goes up to the center tap on the high voltage winding. That's what we're going to do. I promised it, and that's what we're going to do. Now, later on, we'll connect the brown wire on this side of the resistor to all this up here. But that'll probably be done in the next video. Today, I just want to get that wire hooked there with that 500K uh, resistor and also get this uh, 2 microfarad capacitor in, which is right here, this little jobby right here, this little 2 microfarad capacitor. Now, if we can get that in, it goes all the way up, all the way up, it goes all the way up to our quiet switch. This connect, the side of the quiet switch is connected to the coil that's connected to pin 2 on the first detector. If we can get that in without any problems, then we might be able to jump over and put this 4 microfarad capacitor in also, which is this one. We're going to maybe get a couple of the capacitors out of the way that'd be nice here this is where is that little four microfarad there we go get that little four microfarad in there that would be kind of nice this one this one and this one and if we can if that goes nice and smooth we'll start removing I, I might even have time to remove a couple of these goofy wires that have been in my way since day one we're going to get rid of this one we're going to get rid of this piece of crap down here and let me see, there may be one other. I think I can get rid of this little black one right here. Okay, there's a little stub sticking out there. Don't know if you can see that or not. That's what we're going to do. So right now I have the 500K resistor connected to pin 3 of the audio output tube. There's the resistor. That's pin 3. Pin 1, pin 2, pin 3. Okay. And we need to connect that, we need to hook that into the orange wire. Now, you know, I have the option. Uh, I can strip a piece of wire, uh, a piece of insulation off the wire, and then just take, you know, the end of this right here and wrap it around and solder it. Oh, tacky, tacky. We're not going to do that. You know why? Because number one, it's tacky, I just said. And number two, because I like to cut wires. There it is. It is cut. Now let's, I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. I have stripped both ends of the orange wire. And I'm going to go ahead and tin them. And then I'm going to stick them both through the hole in this terminal strip tab. Now I've taken and put a jumper wire. I put a jumper wire between this tab and this tab on the other side. See it right there? That little dealy right there. I'll be soldering that in also. So when I get done soldering the jumper wire in, I'll have, come on camera, focus up here. I'll have two tabs, essentially the same tab, same electrical point, okay? And after I stick this one through the hole and this one through the hole, I'll solder it up. And then the one from the 500K resistor, let me back up and remind you what we're talking about. Don't want you to get lost here. I got a friend I work with, he said I'm beginning to lose him. The watch too many wires. <laughs> this is where we're going to make our connection, remember? We're going to come all the way down, all the way across, and we're going to make our connection right into the orange wire. And we're going to do that. Here's the end of the wire right here. I've stripped it already, okay? We're going to run that into the second tab, the second tab that I have jumpered to. And that way we'll have our connection into the orange wire. Let's get all that done. First I have to tin these. I have to tin these wires. And then we'll stick it in and get it done. We'll solder the, uh, the jumper too. I haven't soldered it yet. I'll put the solder on this side. And this side more area to solder to. Well there we go. We have our 500K resistor hooked up to pin 3. And I'm going to shrink down this uh, heat shrink later where I splice this white wire onto the uh, resistor lead. 
And then we come up here and we soldered it to this terminal here because these two terminals are jumpered together. So it's the same electrical point for this and that. Cool, huh? All right, let's get ready to see if we can't get this uh, two microfarad electrolytic capacitor in. We're going to be connecting this two microfarad 400 volt C12 capacitor from the orange. The negative side of the capacitor is going to go to the orange line that we just hooked the, uh, the 500K wire to. It came in right here. And then we're going to go out the other side. We're going to go up, 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 up. And we're going to connect to the coil side of the quiet power and power switch, they call it. Now, of course, the coil side is connected to pin 2 of the first detector. So I'm going to take my little black lead from my multimeter, and I'm going to connect it right there on pin 2. And then I'm going to take my red lead from my multimeter and I'm going to test it first on one side and then the other of the switch. To see which one gives me the continuity. And if whatever one gives me the continuity is the, is the wire I have to connect the positive of the ECAP to. So let's get that hooked up. Alright, here goes. We're going to connect this to pin 2 of the first detector. All right. Down here is our switch, and you'll see that we have two wires, one here and one here to go to each side of that switch. One is in the rear, one's in the front. All right, let's see which one gives us continuity. Hopefully, it'll be the one in the front. No, that was too much to ask. All right, let's check the one in the rear. Yep, there it is. That's the one, of course. The wire in the rear is the one we want to connect to positive of the electrolytic capacitor to. All right, let's follow the old wire to the rear out and see where it goes. It comes up, 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 up to this terminal board right here, and it connects right there on the end, that last terminal right there. And we need to connect the positive from the orange wire to that one right there that runs down to the back of the switch. Oh man, are you kidding me? Oh, well, how can it get any easier? All I have to do is take my negative, see now here, 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 here. All I have to do is take my negative here, this one here, and connect it to the orange. The positive will go to the switch. By the way, a question came up on the last video. They say, you know, you've got these electrolytics in here. They're not marked on the schematic, but you've got it marked positive, 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 and then you've got negative, negative, negative. How do you know which was which? The center tap on the transformer is the most negative point in this schematic, okay? The center tap on the high voltage winding of the transformer is the most negative point in this schematic. Therefore, the negative of the filter cap should go to it, should go to it, and should go to it. Okay, even though there's a resistor there, it still goes back to that point right there. Good enough? All right. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we're going to do with this. All we're going to do with this is connect the negative here and the positive here of that 2 microfarad E cap. Watch this. Watch this. Are you ready? All I have to do is solder it directly across, just like that, between the two. It's <laughs> well, I'm glad I located that terminal board there when I, you know, right where I have it. Well, old Murphy has finally struck. <laughs> While I was positioning this two microfarad e cap where it needed to go, the lead on the negative end just popped right off. Boy, they are some thin, thin leads. You know, and all the caps I've replaced in all the years, I've never had that happen before. So, I don't have another 2 microfarad, so guess what we're going to do? We're going to use a 4 microfarad. Makes no difference to me. She's in. This time I was able to pull it off without breaking off that negative lead. You know, I tried to uh, solder that lead back on there, but that was a total waste of time. Apparently, the casing on these capacitors, uh, are they're aluminum. 
And you're not going to solder it to aluminum, and it's just not enough in that little end of that little point there to get a to get. It. Besides, it, it it heats up the capacitor pretty hot. Probably got ruined. But anyway, what we're going to do is we are going to show that this is now complete all the way down. All the way down, and then all the way across, and then up. That's what we did. Pretty cool, huh? i get this thing nice and dark so we can see it. You know, when I get all done here, I ought to auction this thing off to the highest bidder and donate the money to charity. <laughs> so whoever wants to frame this, and put it put it on their wall. <laughs> We went ahead and put this capacitor in also. So what we're going to do, <clears throat> we're gonna go from this side of the switch, down, 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 all the way down through the capacitor, and we hooked it to the orange, okay? So that's hooked up too. Now I was gonna go ahead and hook up this other uh, capacitor tonight, but I think what I'll do is make this a fairly short video. I'll give you all a break after that 30 minute video we had last time. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove some of these old dangly wires here. This wire here came from the power transformer and went to pin 5 on the RF tube. But we went a different route when we put it back in. We went, we took it from the, this is the wire here from the power transformer. And we went to pin 5 on the, uh, what is it, the first detector, I think? Yeah, we went to pin 5 on the first detector right there. So we can get rid of this now. It was old taped up wire anyway where the power transformer came in. That's kind of yucky. I don't like that. We also have a stub down here I want to get rid of. So, uh, it was tapped into as a uh, same electrical point type of deal. Okay. So I'll go ahead and remove it also. And uh, this wire here and this wire here, these are your meter wires, your uh, you know, signal strength meter tuning tuning meter wire so they'll stay there this one here <laughs> I can't remember where that goes I'm gonna to have to figure that one out before the next video <laughs> but next time this one will be gone oh yeah I think I got a black stub right there too we'll go ahead and get rid of that piece of crap start cleaning up some stuff around here we're getting to the point where we're almost ready to finish this up and I don't want to have a bunch of stuff hanging you know also there's a ground wire right here that I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with that. I may go ahead and just leave it. It just goes back to a grounding strap here where it, you know, where it gets fastened to the chassis with a screw and a nut. I think what I might do is put some heat shrink over there and just shrink it down. It may, I may need that ground later on for maybe the dial light. I don't know. I'm just going to kind of let that one. I'll, smooth, I'll put the heat shrink on and just kind of push this all the way down. Also, before the next... Uh, you know, before the next video, I'm going to go ahead and there's a wire right here. I really, this is really stupid. I don't know why I put that on there like that. This wire right here, <clears throat> I should have taken it over the top of these wires, brought it down and soldered it that way. As you can see, it's way too close to that, to that ceramic, that hot uh, resistor back there. I don't know how hot that resistor is going to get, but we got to get that thing out of there. It's, it's just way too close. Okay. So we'll bring it over, we'll bring it over the top of the wires and then solder it. And also I decided I'm going to go ahead and take these loose and kind of twist them around one another and run them up behind the choke wires in here closer to the chassis. So all that little uh, cosmetic work will be done for the next video. So let me see, I don't think there's anything else I need to cover. Uh, I, oh yeah, I'm also going to get some screws and fasten uh, this baby back to the chassis. Get some brass screws. I got some, but they're not quite long enough. We'll put that back there. Well, I guess that's it for now. Until next time, this is John.